Do you ever just feel like, crap, I have a lot to do. That is me every day of my life this week. Will this video get edited? I don't know. Will I uh, just film this and it be what it is? I don't know. Here, let's put some light on us. That looks natural. I've been reading that, but this is camera's heavy. This is just, we're gonna set you right there. I just got back from fall break. Fall break was so nice. Let me tell you, I did nothing for one day. And by nothing, I mean I didn't leave my house because I had so much editing to do, and I did that. So I got back from fall break. Fall break was awesome. I took the entire week because I had an opportunity to go serve at a conference that was amazing. It's called Salt Conference. I saw a bunch of student life friends and it was great and it was awesome and it was what my soul needed. I enjoyed it so much and I learned a lot and I'm just refreshed and want to make all of the things. Um, they had a Canon booth there. And I got this pamphlet there, and I'm reading a bunch of about a bunch of lenses. And I just have so much to do. I have a ton to do, but I have a ton to learn. And it's understanding that very thing that I'm not an expert, and just the the humility of putting aside your pride and saying you're a novice at something is okay. And that's what I've had to do pretty much this whole year, but especially when it comes to film things because I don't know anything. I know nothing. This camera angle right now, I know that. It's not good or healthy or should ever happen because all the chins. So basically I'm having to reteach myself out of bad filming habits and it's a process, I'll tell you that much. I'm also teaching myself some of the technical things of filmmaking and indie filmmaking that I didn't necessarily know because you have a digital camera and you know everything, right? Everyone, everyone's a filmmaker. So I'm just excited to be learning things, to be relearning things. There, There's freedom in learning and I love that because because you're not an expert. You are confined to your past experiences and what you know, not what you don't know because there's always more to know. I don't know what I'm getting off on here. I just watched a show about time travel and time travel is freaking crazy. So my brain's fried. Me trying to make any kind of conscious video right now is probably not a good idea. Really the past three years working in live production has been amazing and I love live production so much so I'm thankful for the opportunity to get to serve alongside the crew of Salt 16. They're amazing, amazing people. Super creative, super talented. Would definitely do it again. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Trip Lee did a breakout session for the conference on Thursday and I was able to attend that and that was really cool. And I loved what he said about how the devil tells you lies, the world spreads those lies and your flesh eats up those lies. And that just really, I mean like this whole week, I was inspired by everything I was hearing and everything I was seeing, but I was also intimidated. And it goes back to the whole, it's okay to be a novice and it's okay not to know everything because there's always something to know. And it was just very much just this thought, that reoccurring thought of you're not good enough, you can never make it in this business, you don't have the right gear, you don't know the right things, you're not around the right people. And comparing myself to others, comparing myself to the works of others, other people's experiences. Why on earth was I thinking these things? Because the devil tells lies, the world spreads them, and your flesh eats them up. I mean, I know that, you know, I know that, but it's just easy to forget it. God makes us all special. Each one of us has something different and unique to bring to the table, and I love that. I love how this conference displayed talents and gifts and abilities of each person that helped out with it and that made it happen and my ability is not what their abilities are and their abilities mine like we're all different and god's timing is different for each person and it's beautiful to be reminded of that so all of that to say god's awesome and i am super excited for all the things i'm learning and relearning so that being said getting crap done in all my classes, in my project for my damn messages, in my project for video apps, and even in 
jazz class. That dance. Fosse went great. I think I got a B. I would say I got a B. But basically, if I haven't uploaded anything, it probably means that I'm too busy working on my actual projects to upload these. So that makes sense. Anyway, guys, I hope y'all are all having a blessed week. Get some rest, take some quiet time, and just trust in God because... He has a plan for you and your life and you're unique and I love you and Jesus loves you and I hope you're having a great week. See you guys later. Bye. I am sitting in the most awkward position I could be for this shot because aesthetics.